What's going on guys, it's Hi with the UpperLeftUSA.com. Today I want to talk to you about sliders and more specifically we'll be looking at this Imorden 40 inch middle slider. I recently made a video on the Imorden S60C which is a handheld video stabilizer, something like a Glycam, made by Imorden. And after making this video, I wanted to actually start following me on Instagram and we got in contact with one another. And long story short, they sent me this 40 inch middle slider as a review unit uh, for free, which is very cool just because this is the first time in my life where a company actually sent me something for free for whatever reason, you know. And I am very appreciative, let's just say that, just because like I said, it's the first time it's ever happened, so the joy of it. But that being said, um, it doesn't mean that this video is going to be like nothing but praising this product. It's going to be an honest review just because um, they never really told me what to say or anything like that. So, like I said, it's going to be an honest review. It's going to be my opinion on this thing. So, let's just take a look at the product itself. Essentially, what you get with the slider is a low budget entry level slider. It's around 100 bucks, which is very affordable. Now, I more than actually makes uh, three different sizes of the slider 32, 40, and 48 inches, and in two different models the, the middle slider and the pro slider. When I got in contact with Imorden, I actually was looking for the uh, the pro slider, but we, when we were talking with each other, it seems like Imorden themselves or the representative wasn't confident in the pro slider. They were talking about how like the reviews weren't that good, and in the future they're actually planning on stopping production and the sale of the pro slider. So with this in mind, I was like, there's no point in getting something well they're actually willing to give me the pro slider but i was like there's no point in getting something that really might be taken out to market and people won't be able to buy it anyway so there's no point in reviewing that product so i went with the middle slider which will probably be the one that most people go with so in this video we'll be taking a look at this middle slider and i'm just going to be giving you some of the um the specs versus the pro slider the slider base itself consists of four roller bearings moving along two stainless steel rails hidden inside of the tracks. Now when we look at the middle slider versus the pro slider, there are some differences but I'm going to explain to you why I think the middle slider is actually the better option. The first difference is going to be size and weight between the middle and the pro slider. The middle slider for 40 inches weighs 2.1 kilograms versus 2.4 kilograms on the pro slider. And the track itself is 42 millimeters versus 46 millimeters on the pro slider. Now to me, the weight, if you watch my videos, weight saving is always a plus to me. Uh, I love having lightweight gear, which is kind of why I move towards the mirrorless and all that. So the more weight that I save, the better. Now with the bigger size and weight of the um the pro slider there are some benefits which um mainly is maximum load on the middle slider for the um the 40 inch you get seven kilograms versus 10 kilograms on the pro slider in my opinion this really does not mean much i mean seven kilograms you're getting like 15 pounds of um camera gear load capacity already at 10 kilograms you're getting over 20 something pounds of camera gear and in my opinion if your rig or your camera if you're affording a rig that weighs over 20 pounds which really I mean like some people like lug around like reds and all that stuff you know and that's fifty thousand dollar cameras for you to put on a hundred dollar slider what sense does that make it all so in my opinion if your camera gear weighs like 20 pounds there's no way you're even going to be thinking about buying the middle or the pro slider so really the load capacity and the benefits of the pro slider really makes no sense at all really the only difference that's really feasible is within the, the two legs um, I'm going to post up a picture right now and as you can see the legs on the, the middle versus the pro slider are actually different. On the pro slider there are actually two locking mechanisms where when you unlock it the, sleg, the, the legs actually move in and out so you can actually adjust them much easier than sliding the screws up and down on the middle slider. I thought that this would be a huge benefit for the pro slider until I actually pulled the middle slider out of the traveling bag that I came in with. My favorite thing about the middle slider 
and which is going to be why I would recommend this slider over the pro slider is going to be because of the leg mechanism on the, the, the middle slider. The nice thing about this slider is that the legs are actually removable. When I pulled the um, the slider out of the its shipping box, I was like, "Why is this thing so small?" Just because you know, like typically you see sliders with the legs um, pre-installed and non-removable. The nice thing about this is once you pull the legs out, the slider. I mean, like the case is like an inch, two inches wide, so it is so nice. It's so thin and so compact. You can actually leave the legs off, put it on however you want, and that's what I love about this slider. When you break it down, it it's so tiny. I mean, it's it weighs almost nothing, and it's a winner for me. So that alone, like I said, it would be the reason why I would recommend the middle slider over the pro slider. In terms of performance, this slider does very well at what it's supposed to do, and that's giving you smooth slides. When you release it, there's no imperfection. It's very smooth. You don't feel rubbing or anything on the rails at all. It just does it very well. But there are a few complaints that I have about this slider. First would be the adjust adjustment knob on the back. So essentially what it does is when you turn it right, it locks it down. You can't move it. Release it to the left and it moves. Ideally, I guess you can tighten it a little bit or loosen it a little bit to, to give it a little bit more resistance and whatnot. But to me, like when you're using it at certain places of the tightness, there's actually a jitter and it's just not very accurate. So in my opinion, if I would, when I use this, it's either wide open or closed. Either I'm moving it or I'm not. So to control resistance, it's just re me really controlling my own body and how much force I'm giving the slide. And there's a learning curve to that, but overall it works. Uh, my next complaint would be, check this out. This slider favors this half of the the, um, the slider for some reason. Now, the bubble level on my tri tripod says that I'm level and the bubble level on the, um, the slider itself says that I'm level. But for some reason, it just goes to my left. Now, you might think it's because uh, I'm using one tripod and that's because like the, the tripod is flexing. But look, on this side, when you leave it, when you give it a little force, it doesn't flex this way. Well, it does flex, but it doesn't slide this way. It just moves left. So that's another problem. I don't know if I'm going crazy and it's my floor or something like that, but like I said, I'm completely leveled according to the bubble level. So I don't know if that's happening to you. Leave a comment down below telling me if this is a problem for you too. But overall, like I said, I use it very manually. My hand's always on it if I'm using it as a slider. So that little flex really is no problem to me at all. Overall, I would highly recommend this slider. You know, for a hundred bucks, it does what it's supposed to do very well. And I'm thrilled to have this in my arsenal now. I'll definitely be using it more and uh, for weddings and stuff like that. It'll be nice to have for sure. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share this video if you liked it. Until the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Em algum lugar